Good evening, everyone, and guess what? I thought I was going to have a day off, but the newsmakers in the world of spaceflight had other ideas. But let's deal with one thing first. In the last two days, 900 new subscribers have been added to this channel. It is an amazing thing. So happy about that. Welcome, and guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe! Only 12,000 to go. I think we can make it. Okay, let's get on with things. Boeing, Starliner, and also the People's Republic of China. We knew this was coming at the moment they launched the Long March 5 to put up the last segment of their space station. Hopefully, this is the last time the world is going to have to deal with this kind of anxiety, but I'm going to be covering that event as it happens. Near as we can tell right now, it's a Supposed to happen sometime early Saturday morning UK time so of course that will be late Friday night US time but we're still not sure just keep your eyes open and I'll be covering that but also Starliner I and when when that whole new test the second unmanned test took place all of the issues that that ship had, I was concerned that there were too many issues to really to really categorize it as an unqualified success. And sadly, I was right. Three, two, and liftoff. Starliner is headed back to space on the shoulders of Atlas powered by a workforce dedicated to its success. Now, to be perfectly clear, I feel very badly for the team that is dedicated to Starliner's success because this ship continues to cause Boeing headaches and cost them hundreds of millions of dollars, driving them further and further into the red. And I've talked about this many times because the news just keeps getting worse. And even though NASA is kind of painting a picture where Starliner can't dock with the ISS because of scheduling and things like that, that just isn't the whole picture, and they admitted that. Quote, they were working on a variety of verification efforts across several critical systems that will be used for Starliner's crew flight certification, unquote. NASA's commercial space flight director, Phil McAllister, said that scrutinizing Starliner's parachutes and software are the two most time-consuming issues that NASA and Boeing are currently dealing with. Of course, the software is something that we've known about for a very long period of time. It's what caused the issues in the first place back in 2019. But on top of that, the parachutes? Now, that's something we haven't heard about at all. As far as we've been able to tell, at least outside observers, the parachutes have been working just fine. But perhaps not. There are so many glitches, so many issues with this damn ship, and and with every passing day, the news just gets worse. So now, the launch has been pushed out until April, if it happens at all. And of course, with even more delays and more work, well, that obviously goes hand in hand with more lost money for Boeing. But at this point, we really should be asking, and I think NASA should be scrutinizing this intensely at this point. Given all of these issues, we really want to risk astronauts on the next flight. I don't think Boeing can afford another unmanned test, and I don't think we should risk human beings on the next flight. There are just too many things that have reared their ugly heads during this test and afterwards, and also too many unknown factors. For example, those pesky thrusters. It's worth it to keep in mind that those thrusters were located on the service module, and that burned up in the atmosphere. And NASA has admitted that we may never know what caused those issues. Now, granted, the redundancy systems worked out just fine, but if they don't the next time, the astronauts are going to be in a lot of trouble. 
and what you're watching right now is an initial test that took place original test that is to say of the thrusters and way back then it still had problems so that being the case i really don't think this is a safe vessel to put astronauts up in and we really can't test this ship to an appropriate extent to prove that it's going to be safe now granted space is never safe but sometimes there are things called unwarranted gambles and i think that's what we're dealing with right here smash that like hit that subscribe check out the description for various ways to support my content and as always stay angry about space